share a haul with you which is very special because what happens when your friend goes to Japan and you can't go? Well, you ask her to buy you stuff and she truly did. So many, many thanks to Reed and your friend Megan. I truly appreciate it and yeah, I am blown away. I'm so excited by all my goodies. So let me show you this. <laughs> I'm going to take it out of the packet because I know I always have glare. <laughs> How stinking cute is that? Oh man, <laughs> it's like my black cat. He's actually just walking past the window right now. So there's that. There's one of these bande stickers. You know, they're individual stickers on a roll like a washi tape. And uh, they are Alice themed. I don't know if you can see. I'll hold it up close. Oh, a little Alice themed. There's quite a bit of Alice stuff in here and I'm thinking maybe I need to do another Alice journal. Alice inspired journal and a stamp. I think Jessica's going to steal this. <laughs> it's so cute. And individual cats faces. Oh, okay. That was my error. I wanted to keep it closed. There we go. All is not lost. So yeah. That one's a bit scary. <laughs> but I mean, oh, <laughs> how adorable are they? There's a lot of cat themed stuff in here too because, well, I have four of them and you can never have enough cat stuff. Honestly, you can't. So let's just put that stuff to the side. This, I've been what I've seen people have this. So many people have one of these and I've always thought, hmm, I wonder what it's like to have one of those. It's a washi tape cutter. And I have a washi tape here. I love this one. Let me show you. This one reminds me of... <laughs> one of them reminds me of my black and white cat. But yeah, there, that one. <laughs> I mean, isn't it so cute? I hope it's focusing on this and not the below. Not so good with the up close on my phone. Whoops, it is. Oh, come on. And it's a fat roll. My gosh, it's going to last me a lifetime. Yeah, and I am pedantic and anal. You know what? I'm not pedantic and anal. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. So this is so cute. It goes, this might be a bit fat, but it goes around there. Let's find that. And then, whoops, I've got it the wrong way around. Oh, okay, here we go. And you do this and it's got a little serrated edge there. And you go, and then you have this gorgeously straight serrated edge super cute and I love the colour. So yes, very excited about that. These are so cute. I love the packet. The packet's adorable and the stickers are. Some of these stickers came in another packet but I've already used that for a Christmas gift. So, <laughs> But look at that. Look at this packet. I could, you know, I could so get into um, collecting packets like this. I mean, I'll collect anything but it's so cute. Small black cat. All mine. But yeah, okay, I'll need that. But look at these. They're all about the new year. 2020. Okay, I can't really see individual ones because there's too many here, but it's a hedgehog and a mouse. Two mice. Two mice. There's so many of them. <laughs> and then these other ones as well. Oh, they're just so adorable. Love them. Cannot wait for 2020 to start so I can get back into my Hobonichi again. It's just going to be stickers. <laughs> All it is is stickers, stickers everywhere. Oh, this is not going to go well, I can tell. All right, let's get the bigger ones out of the way. Let's put the small ones in there. ASMR. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Not too bad. One escape. We'll just leave those there be there forever. Some more stickers. These are Snoopy and I love Snoopy. I had uh, I had a Snoopy game. What's in the front here? Snoopy Tennis, you know those are all precursor of the Game Boys. So it's so cute. Am I even in frame? No. <laughs> I've got to stand on tippy toes to see what's going on in the uh, on the screen. <laughs> and then Alice, but I love this one because this one is in this very, very cute packet. I mean, how how sweet is that? I'm not going to take them out, but they're all Alice 
Oh, here we go. All Alice. Ah, so much fun. This, this is amazing. It's all Japanese stamps. And there's so many of them. And I don't know if you've seen a Reese video, but she has a bag just as full as this one. The original bag must have been ginormous. I have an idea on how I want to store these based off of uh, something that uh, I've seen on 49 Dragonflies videos. She has a storage system for stamps. I'm not going to show you them all. It's just too many of them. But blown away. Ah, so much fun. See, so, yeah, I want to try and well, get them back in the pack out. Then I'm going to make a, a storage solution for those because I want to be able to see them all. Oh, so much. And these. <laughs> this. This, I think, is my favourite out of everything. I mean, I love everything, but this. This just speaks to me. <laughs> oh, so cute. I have an idea with these as well. What I want to do, and I'm going to see if I can do it and maybe tack it on the end of this video, is I want to laminate them. But I want to put them sort of one there and one there so that it can close and become a proper page flag, but a, a more durable one. So thinking of doing that. So there's that one. Just love that. And there's this one. <laughs> Kitties! And then, of course, this I was so over the moon with. Traveller's Notebook. I've never had any of the Traveller's Notebook stuff because we don't get it here. And I never find it on Amazon Japan. It's the Traveller's Company. And it's the book one. Which, I mean, come on. I'm a librarian. So that speaks to my soul and it's got the MD paper inside and I can see myself being petrified to use it in case I stuff it up. And then she gave me, she gave me the stickers as well. These are the letterpress, letterpress stickers. They're really nice. I'm not quite sure what to do with them. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could, oh no. Nope, no idea what to do. But I'll think up something. Um, what else have we got here? We've got these beautiful notepads. This one has several designs, kitties. What's nice about this paper is it's got this lovely, almost glassine texture on this on the back side of it, and then it's got a texture on the front. But so stinking cute! And this one is just beautiful. This one is. Oh, I didn't notice the gold on the side. This one is a different design on each page, and it's just, it's just really, really, really beautiful. And of course, I can see these being made into junk journals. I mean, the junk journal face has not gone away yet. <laughs> so that's really lovely. And these are folders. I've got some stuff in here, which I will show you. But they're really nifty. They come with, you know, several sections, and it does show you, fortunately, shows you here what you could do with them and I'm thinking, thinking, that I should glue it into one of my, one of my Hobonichis so I can store stuff in it, which is really, really nice, I love it. And then I've seen these Kita things everywhere, again, never had one, because it's, <clears throat> pardon me, um, I don't have access to Japanese stationery in South Africa. I don't have a dice or anything like that. So these again are page flags. So pretty. And then you fold it over like that and you slip it into your planner or your whatever you're using. This is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. A bit like sort of if you, you do that. Yes, it looks like a butterfly, but it reminds me of the ink block tests. <laughs> So, so pretty. And then there's some more. These are nice too. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun playing with these. Really, truly. And this is another file folder and I just shove some things in there. Really, really love this. I've never seen these before. And then I've got some stickers. These I think I'm going to maybe try and sneak into my uh, December daily, which is currently sitting over here because, you know, they're cute and small and I'm sure they maybe could fit in there. And then, <laughs> they're so cute. Really, really, really cute. And then the last one is this one, which I love. 
All the animals. The duck. Goose. Duck, goose. A sloth. I'm heavily into sloths at the moment. And then lastly, this really, really cute pouch. <laughs> it's kind of like me at the end of the day, and then they all sit on top of me. <laughs> Big stomach and all. And then she sent me two pens because she knows that I am crazy for pens. I had to Google this one. This one is interesting. This one is... <sighs> what is it? It's a coat. Kokoro. It's, it's quite fascinating because it's got like the ink poking out at the end. It's a letter pen and it's really nice and then I, when I googled them I found out this was a limited edition one and there's others. You know what that means of course. Yeah, yeah, the collector thing in me. <laughs> Good going. And then the last one is a multi pen because well I have a thing for multi pens and this is so cute. Maybe you can really see all of it. But it's got the red, the black, and the blue. And it's a really fine point. And it writes so nicely. I've tested it already, of course. So there you go. That is my amazing Japanese stationery haul, courtesy of Irit and Megan. And I am very, very grateful. And cannot wait. Let's just put it all in a big, big pile cannot wait to play with it all so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I oh Christmas is around the corner so I wish you a very Merry Christmas happy holidays however you celebrate it I hope you have a fantastic time and yeah I look forward to chatting to you again so have a lovely day bye bye as I said in the haul I figured I wanted to make these flags and a bit more durable so yeah I'm going to laminate them as I'm showing you here and then I'm going to cut them up into little flags and they turn out really quite cute and it's super super simple slightly labor intensive but only because you know you've got to put them down and I've got that uh, those ruled lines underneath just to make sure I get them mostly straight you know because you're going to have to bend them but in the end it actually doesn't really matter all that much because you when you bend them, as long as you make sure both sides are matched up, you're okay. So yeah, as you can see there, I'm sticking them down and then I am going to stick them all down off camera because nobody wants to see all of that. So there we go, got them down there. And yes, ordinarily if I was doing this, uh, I would put more on, but I just wanted to make sure it worked. So I think it came out quite cute and here I'm just going to cut it down so that I can start to you know, cut them up and manipulate them and put them into little flag shapes. So here we go, slicing and dicing. And uh, yeah, it, uh, well, what can I say? I mean, I'm slicing and dicing. It's really, really not rocket science. <laughs> but there you go. So they do, I did leave a little gap between the two of them because obviously you need a little gap because you're going to bend it over. And then you just neaten it up by uh, cutting it and yeah, they came out really, really cute. I'll show you what I've done with them at the end of this. And oh, there we go. See, not bad. A little bit of trimming needed and A for a way you've got a little a little flag. And because these are so cute, I really did want to make sure that, you know, I used them in a way that I could keep them, kind of keep them. And yeah, I'm just taking some of that tacky, what's it, that red tape, super sticky tape and just putting a tiny bit on the, the basically the heads of them just to keep them together and here we go this is a cute little oh golly I don't know what size it is it's not a real Hobonichi I, I got it off Amazon Japan it's got a super super soft beautiful cover on it but yeah I'm just putting them in there and then I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up and so there you go is a little tip on what to do with uh, or how to make your own little page flags doesn't it look damn cute? I think so. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.